Welcome to the cooking dinner. Hey, man. We back today, man. I got excitement for you. Now, as people talk to me, and I talk to a few other people, they like cooking dinner. We know that, you know, you can get down on your cooking thing, you know. I do what I can do. It's all basic. It ain't nothing nobody can't do. I ain't doing no, no different than you can do. But, y'all know I used to work for R&D, research development. And I had some ideas I put out there. Some of them made it, some of them didn't. And I want to try to get into more of the ideas that didn't make it. Just to see how they work today and see if y'all like them. Because I got uh, around 400 recipes that didn't even pass. Went through RD, didn't even pass. And this is one of them. Now, I'm going to show you this cabbage and shrimp recipe that I did a long time ago. They kind of like it. They didn't like, you know, the name of it all that there. I call it a cabbage and shrimp fettuccine. And they like this, not which I knew it wasn't a But it was it sounded fast, so that's why I use it. But I don't know if they didn't like it because of the ingredients. I didn't like it because of the name. But it was real tasty because I know I experiment on other people. I made it for my family, and they like it. And today I'm gonna show you how I done this here, and so you can do it and see if y'all like it. It was a fail experiment. It didn't pass R and D, but hey, you might like it. So today we're gonna cook up a storm, and we're gonna dance up a storm. Let's dance up a storm, cooking general. Alrighty, welcome back to the Cooking General. And um, I got this cabbage, man. They had some cabbage, they had some green leaves. They were real small. This is the biggest one I found. It's got some bad leaves, we're gonna pull them off. And you also gonna bust out that core because we're gonna need the inside. That's where we're gonna stuff everything in. Okay, now I got me some raw white shrimps. You know what I'm saying? And this is the kind of a medium. No, they gonna cook down anyway, small, but I ain't want them too big anyway for this particular dish. And we're gonna need some foil because that foil is gonna wrap out, uh, work out magic. And our seasons, you know, we're gonna use our tonies. Now, I want a little spice on mine, so I'm gonna use some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and a jar of pimentos. Now, the pimentos, I'm just gonna pour them in there because I'm gonna use the juice and everything in the pimentos, and you're gonna need a stick of butter. And we're gonna put this here on the pit and come back, and I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Cooking General, ask somebody. Welcome back to the Cooking General. Now, we got the core of the cabbage. Now, I'm kind of glad I'm doing this video because, I mean, I hear people say, man, you know, I, I ain't everything I do is successful. You know what I'm saying? Some of you know, they go, everybody takes it. They don't like it, but, you know, like say, I cook it for people, family. This was back in 82, and I'm glad I went and checked the books again because when I did originally do this recipe, I did use diced onions. And since I put it in there originally, and that's why I cooked it for my family and friends, and they liked it that way. But like I said, it didn't pass, but we're gonna do that. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use 75% stick of our butter, our pimentos. We season our shrimp with black pepper, garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, and a little tonis. And we also put a little in there. Now, we're gonna put 75% of this butter off in there, and we're gonna stuff our pimentos, our shrimp, and our onions off in the core, and we're gonna wrap it in foil, and we're gonna put it on the pit. And come back, and I'll show you. Cooking General, ask somebody. Welcome back to the Cooking General. Now, make sure you get your fire started on your pit. And we're gonna wrap this thing. You gonna, we're gonna, since we got the smaller fall, I'm gonna tie them in together and wrap it. And this is how it looks when you finish stuffing. You got your pimentos, your onions, you got the shrimp, and you know, your three quarter sticks of butter off in there, and your seasonings. And you just wrap it on there, and you leave it on your pit. And then you just leave it, and uh, I can't really tell you how long it takes because, but I'll try to time it, but I just know when it's ready. Hey, this hill, it was a failure, but man, if they had to taste it, I think they were just jealous. Cooking General, ask somebody. Alrighty, they said cook it till the cows come on. Okay, this took about two and a half hours on this little bit of pit here. I could have done a lot faster, but hey, let's check it out. I right, should be about done now. Alrighty, let's show you how it looks. Oh man, yeah. Tender. Oh yeah. That's what I want. That's what I look for. Right there. Look at that. Man, yeah. Your cabbage, look at that. Your cabbage are good. Look at that. Good and tender. That's what you want. Get back so you can see. I don't want to, I don't smoke. And then you just take it, you know what I'm saying? You get the shrimp together and we're gonna mix this up. Hey, chop it up, mix it up. Hey, it is done. Perfect. But it didn't, it was a failed experiment, you know. I Turned into them a long time ago. They didn't like it. You know, they like this don't go together. But trust me, it was good. I mean, I still do this sometimes for people and they still like it. So, because it didn't pass RD, 
doesn't mean that it wasn't good. But I was gonna bring a lot more of my failed experiments to y'all to see if y'all like it. So if y'all really like this here, I'll show you some more stuff that I did that failed. You know, it just it is what it is. Let's go include this video. Cook in general. Ask somebody. Oh, welcome back to the Cook Jones, man. Hey, I told you that was another fail experiment, but you know, I got a lot of them. When I say fail, it don't mean it fail. It just didn't pass already these standard, standards. And so I'm just bringing them to y'all because I got a lot of recipes back there and I want to kind of see if they're making it in modern times today. But, um, you know, I, but don't get me wrong now. I got a lot of new stuff that I, I ain't never showed y'all yet. Hey, I'm the cook in general. I can cook anything at any time. Now, don't get me wrong on that. But I'm just showing you some stuff that you may never thought of that I brought to the table that just didn't pass R&D. But hey, I have had people to taste it. They say it's good. I taste it, I like it. You may like it, you may not. You might want to change a few things. You might modify a little bit, make your own. Or you might say, well, hell, I don't like that and skip it. It don't make a difference, hey. <laughs> I just see basic, I ain't no chef. Hey, I'm the cook in general. Man, we did it again. Let's see if we can dance up that storm again. Cook in general.